Hi everyone, in this video I will show you a really easy Cowboy Cowgirl costume. Uh, I made this costume for my son a while back and it's great for costume parties or for Halloween. It's really quick and easy to make. Uh, most of the items uh, you buy ready and then you just need some fabric uh, to, for the chaps and to embellish the vest. And the stars on the side are what I made for my daughter's cowboy boots. Okay, these are the items that you will buy ready. And um, the only thing that's not shown here is the vest, which I bought in a second-hand uh, clothing store. And these are the items that you need to, to make the chaps, which is the fabric and uh, the paper clips to embellish them. Okay, so here I'm starting with the jeans. And since I already made them, uh, made the chaps already, and I didn't have fabric, I'm just using this towel to demonstrate the fabric. So what you will do with your fabric is that you will fo double fold it so that when you cut it, you'll have two exact pieces. Uh, you fold it your, your jeans and you just put them right on top of the fabric. And in just a minute here, you put them on top of the fabric. Now obviously the fabric needs to go the full length of the jeans. So uh, my towel wasn't big enough, but this is the idea. And then I just traced along the fabric. I used a piece of chalk. Here I'm demonstrating with a pencil. About halfway through, I made the fabric a little bit wider in the front because it's going to loop around in the back. On the other side, I leave a space to make the fringe and to attach, uh, attach the chaps to the jeans themselves. Okay, so here, then you, you would take scissors, you would cut the actual fabric. I'm just pretending to cut here. But I would I cut right along um, where I drew how I wanted to cut them. There you go. So now you, you've cut the fabric and you have two pieces uh, that are exactly the same size. You put the, now uh, you take each piece and you put it on each side of the jean because I just want to cut out the little piece that, that goes near the crotch. Okay, so here we go. I, I traced again on the fabric. I, I just eyeballed everything. You trace on both pieces of fabric and then you just cut out this little bit of fabric that's uh, along the crotch because you want it to be open. What you would do next is uh, take that extra fabric that you cut halfway through and, and you sew it together on the chaps so you have a little loop there where the, where the bottom of the jeans would go through. So here it is. Here's that little loop. And you just put your jean through there. Just like that. You put your uh, jean through it. And then this is how it would sit on the jean. And then you can see also that little piece near the crotch uh, that I cut out. That's what it's supposed to look like in the end. Okay, now I'm going to show you where I stitched it to the jean. Just along all the edges, I stitched this felt fabric to the jean and, and along the back, that, that piece along the back so that it would, that it would stay, uh, stay tight on the jean. You can also just glue it, but then you can't reuse your jeans if you glue the fabric on. Okay, now I'm just showing you how I put the paper clip uh, I cut the fringe from, from the extra fabric we left on the side, and these are the little paper clips. You can cut tiny holes along the sides uh, of your chaps, uh, and just uh, stick this uh, little paper clips through and open them in the back, and then uh, they should be sturdy. You can also glue rhinestones. Uh, if, if it's for a girl, you can, you can use uh, shiny rhinestones and just glue them onto the felt fabric. So, so here are the two uh, chaps on the jeans. This is what it looks like. And um, now I'm just going to quickly demonstrate for you as if you had a skirt. Uh, if you have, if you use a jean skirt to make a costume for a girl, you just put uh, the skirt on top of the fabric. You don't need to fold it over twice because we just need one piece for the skirt. And what you would do is you would mark it. Uh, slightly wider on each side. There you go. You, you leave a bit to, uh, to make the fringe on the side. This is how I would mark it. And then you just cut the fabric along the side and then you would just cut uh, the fringe and attach, and attach this piece of fabric to the front of the skirt. 
See, I'm just showing an example of, of the rhinestones or the, the paper clips that you can use to embellish the chest. Okay, so this is a star that um, I printed it out on, um, from the computer and then I uh, traced it onto wax paper in order to make further embellishments. What I used the star for, I thought it would be a sheriff star, but in the end I just used it to make uh, my daughter's boots look a little more cowgirlish. And the, the black stripe across that across it is just a rubber band. And it was embellished with the rhinestone. Okay, so this is the vest. I got the vest in a used clothing store. It was a woman's vest and it was just slightly too big for my son, so I just folded along the top edge where the shoulders are and stitched it together, stitched the sides, uh, stitched the, the fabric down so it would be just a, t a little bit smaller. And then I added these uh, embellishments to the vest. And so for the little triangle on top, what I did is uh, imagine that it's not there now. I just put a piece of paper on the vest and I traced along the paper exactly how I want uh, this embellishment to look. This creates a stencil. I, I cut out uh, these triangles. I, I just used one. It's the same one for both sides because you want them to be exactly the same. I cut out the stencil on the paper. Then I, I used this uh, as a stencil on my felt fabric. I just put this on the fabric and then I was able to cut out the, the two pieces that are exactly the same and I stitched them onto the vest. I added first the, the paper clip embellishment and then I stitched it onto the vest. So here it is, it's all stitched. And now the second embellishment uh, that's on the chest area, because this is a woman's vest and the bust is slightly tapered, I wanted to hide that. And I think the embellishment also uh, adds, uh, adds a lot to the vest. Uh, I did this, this design with the same, uh, the same way. I just put a piece of paper on the vest and I traced out the design that I want. Now you just need one stencil like this and you cut out two pieces for both sides. Uh, once I cut the piece, I once I cut the piece of paper, I put it on the felt fabric and again cut out two pieces of felt fabric that were exactly the same. I added, uh, I cut out some fringe and I added the paper clip embellishment and then I sewed the whole thing onto the vest. Also, it can be glued on, but then, again, once it's glued, it's there for good. So, um, I decided just to sew everything on in case I wanted to take it off and reuse the vest. So, that's basically it. I hope uh, this tutorial was helpful. And uh, if you decide to make a cowboy costume like this, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.